Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's a real Captain Kirk here. It's the 3rd of June uh, here um, Saturday, and we're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Hurricane season, hurricane season here in the Atlantic officially started on the 1st of June, and we already have Tropical Storm Arlene. It's going to be a fish storm here. It's going to probably dissipate over Cuba, but uh, again, it's to the west of Florida, probably going to pass well to the west of Key West, and then uh, head toward uh, western Cuba and pretty much fall apart. So only impact probably going to be some heavier rain for South Florida, but again, a, um, this is actually the second system. There was a subtropical system on back in January. So again, we've off to a, a fast start here in 2023, and uh, usually a uh, quick start uh, translates to an above average hurricane season, which we still expect, even with the developing El Nino. If you've noticed your skies to be kind of smoky here, parts across the U.S., uh, especially here in the Northeast, quite frequently, um, we can blame all these wildfires uh, up in Western Canada, and now we've got some in even in Eastern Canada. Um, as that smoke gets caught up in the upper jet stream, uh, again, it transverses down into the, the U.S. So we've had some quite a bit of smoky skies here uh, as of late. And even when we get a cold front, the, the blue skies don't seem to last very long. Tornadoes, we added about 30 last week. But despite that, we're now only about 4% above average, 3% less than last year. Haven't said that all year. And uh, top 35% of history. So still a above average season here. And uh, with the dry pattern here, we've uh, trailed off a bit. Uh, but this... Uh, Likely to pick up some steam here uh, later uh, in the summer season here as the El Nino will eventually transition to a, uh, a wetter, stormier pattern going from west to east for the central U.S. and then uh, eventually get to the east. The east coast has got some risk for some dryness, but uh, again, uh, should get wetter as we develop into this El Nino type cycle. If we look at last week's cold summer here, we're getting here tonight, uh, 3 June here in the U.S., uh, hot, uh, 0.6 warming last year, warmest in three years, 10th, warmest in 38 years, so above average national temperatures. Where it's hot, uh, again, mostly in the upper plains, um, had some heat. Obviously, we had a one-day heat wave here in the northeast uh, here Friday, uh, hit, hit the 90s, um, but again, now back to the 70s here, and in fact, a cool week ahead. For, could even be highs in the 60s here uh, later this week, so... A uh, one-day warm-up, and then uh, back to the cooler trends here in the east. It was 55% drier than last year across the country, making the number one driest in 38 years. So much below average temp, uh, rainfall there across the U.S. as well. Canada hot, uh, number one hottest in 38 years. Also dry, driest in 14 years. Dry was kind of the theme across the populated areas of the world. Uh, again, uh, China, 60% uh, drier, driest in 24 years. Uh, India, driest in 28 years. Uh, so those are some concerning themes because what we should see here is Drought start to materialize in uh, India, Malaysia, Asia, uh, China, even in potentially Australia. As we uh, tend to get wetter, um, most likely here with uh, an El Nino pattern in the U.S. and South America. If we look at this week, a week ending the 10 June here again here in the U.S. About 1.3 cooler than last year, coolest in four years, 12th coolest in 38 years. So below average national temperatures. Um, cool east, uh, central Ohio Valley, and the southwest Texas. Hot spots are, again, not where a lot of population lives, uh, so not a big help for our retail customers that sell air conditioners and fans and bottled water and beer and all the things you like to buy. But um, if you're in the northwest or the plains, you're certainly going to think it's hot because uh, it will be much above average temperatures there. 70% uh, drier than last year, still number one driest in 38 years. So uh, wet spots are where they need it. Uh, the, the extreme drought is still there in the south central plains, so they're getting some thunderstorm activity. Uh, in fact, some of these areas that were very dry, like uh, West Texas, uh, has become very wet <clears throat> after such a drought-stricken few years. So again, good news for them. And then you can see some of that rainfall from uh, Arlene impacting the southern part of Florida. If we look at uh, next week, this is the week before Father's Day now here, week ending 17 June. Uh, still three degrees cooler than last year, coolest in three years. Now, 16th warmest, so still above average uh, national temperatures, but uh, much, much cooler than last year across really from California into the northeast. Um, this is a negative trend for, again, things that you would buy, air conditioners, fans, bottled water, beverages. Um, again, just uh, the demand will not be as high, which is uh, hurting retailers. Retailers are definitely suffering here through this uh, uh, cooler cycle and just the overall economic trend. So a double whammy here with weather <clears throat> and um, you know the uh, economy. We look at rainfall up a bit, still dry, 7% wet in last year, 6 dry in 38 years. Looks like a lot there on the map, but uh, just thunderstorm activity, so hit or miss. If you get one, you're lucky, like last night here in the northeast New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania area. Some areas got hit by a thunderstorm, and most didn't. So, again, it was hit or miss, and that'll be the theme here uh, into next week before Father's Day. And if we just aggregate these two-week trends here through the 17th of June here, so general, same general pattern here of cooler South and east and uh, warmer in the plains and northwest and pretty much wall-to-wall, coast-to-coast uh, heat there across Canada. 
Um, Europe, Central Europe, pretty warm. Um, Western or Eastern Europe, uh, pretty cool uh, map. Inset left was the trends versus average for precip. So we're going to be remote here this week. Again, a lot of folks are, kids are getting out of school. Our daughter was out of school here this uh, Friday, yesterday, um, officially graduated first grade. So again, I'm sure a lot of folks out there are thinking vacation mode here now that the kids are out, and uh, we will be doing the same. So we'll try to get a blog out on our QuickCast page, uh, weathertrends360.quickcast, and um, hopefully a video next week. But uh, with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and we'll be back here again this time next week.